there was just a sheep in the middle of the road. Just a sheep in the middle of the road. <laughs> We are going to the range to get some Christmas decorations. I'm gonna buy so many lights. You, I'm gonna go crazy. You're gonna need to stop me. That's gonna be difficult. I, <laughs> I'm I gonna buy, buy so many. We're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna go as and get snacks and stuff. And then we're not gonna move for the rest of the weekend. We are gonna watch so many terrible Netflix Christmas films. So just wondering if I need to replace my cushions with these awful, ugly, amazing ones. You're not being much help in talking. I'm really out, not because I kind of love them too. We're definitely like coming back for these. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> they have gone slightly overboard, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm fine with it. Considering all the things we did see, I think you've done well. What have you got, Emmy? <laughs> A massive bag from the range. That's all. Look how ugly this wrapping paper is. Everything. That's not the that's not the ugliest thing you're gonna see in a minute. What else is ugly? Oh! The public is not ready. But I've oh. never had a stocking before. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to get the white balance light fixed. <laughs> Which I don't think I can actually hang up on my first door, but it'll go somewhere in there. It will. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I guess this is kind of a garland as well. But this also lights up. A tree topper, which now I'm starting to think this might be too big for the tree. I'm just we'll going to pan the camera Wait, up. Let me put it. Let okay. Me it Moment of truth. I mean, we do. It's kind of. Yeah! Hey! That's going to be Oh! Okay. I shouldn't have touched anything. Oh, I forgot I got the sheet. The sheet is. Oh, sorry. Um, this. I don't really know where this will go, but. Will that be annoying if I put that outside the door? That would look cute, but it also it gets windy. Because it's annoying. So we are making chicken parmesan. Which if you think about it, it's kind of, it looks very festive. There's a lot of red. <laughs> yep. Just spread it on all nice like that. So it gives it a festive coat. A festive coat. And I think we need to take the rest inside mm, the pasta. Maybe not all. Maybe of not it. all of it. Might be too much. Parmesan. Parmesan. And we delicately. I'm doing the full Nigella Lawson here. <laughs> it's like snow, but cheese. It's very festive, you're right. It's very festive. I think we've hit on a new uh, Christmas tradition here. Yeah. yeah. And we've got garlic bread, and we've got the pasta. I'm now going to stir around. Put back on that one, because that one's warm. Otherwise the sauce will be cold and that'll be sad. Oh, I should probably do that with it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Please don't get burnt pastas right come this out one. of the oven. Nice slippers. Thank you very much. And we are currently watching uh, RuPaul's Festive Drag Race. We are. <laughs> it slays. I was wrong. That probably needs a little bit more sauce. You're right. That's good for more sauce. It's going to end up being the whole rest of the jar, isn't it? To be honest. Oh. We ended up using the whole jar. <laughs> I was wrong. Seed change. The only ever they time. They used the whole jar. The only ever time I've been wrong. Oh, the only time. <laughs> Dinner is so. This looks great. Woo! You did good. Look how Christmassy! It's so cute! So I've just got back from dropping Ollie off at the station and I also got to go to the little corner shop here to pick up my Amazon package. We did nothing. Today we literally just chilled out, did nothing. So I thought that I'd just show you the Christmas presents. <laughs> Not presents, I meant decorations. Okay, so we'll do this last one real quiet because I don't want my neighbours to think I'm weird and this one's just outside. As you come in, I've got my tinsel that I put up the other day. And I've got this cute wreath that I hung up. And then <laughs> when you get up here, this is where my amazing stocking is hung. Which I don't think anything's gonna beat that to be honest. The little heart I put in the window because this for some reason like isn't far enough out for it to go on a hook on the wall. So I've just put it there. And that keeps happening. <laughs> I'm going to talk about that and it happened. It happens every time I pull the curtain across. 
they just put the sheep in the tree who looks adorable look at him what else did i buy for the tree not much just the just the top of which looks really nice i thought it was gonna be too big but i think it looks good tonight I need to start the process that is wrapping and writing cards. And, uh, I don't mind writing cards, that's fine. I hate wrapping presents because they always look so bad. So I've got my wrapping paper ready. I've got my bag of gifts in an Asda bag, which is maybe not quite as classy as Santa with his sack, but that's fine. And that is my hard work for this evening over with. for you today is that I have finally discovered what village life is truly like. So this morning I was driving to work and there was just a sheep in the middle of the road. Just a sheep in the middle of the road. So the car in front of me slowed down to let it cross in front of it and this car pulled in to like stop it from running back out which that's very village of someone to do because no one in this city would ever do that. And I looked to the right and I swear to God, the sheep whose field it had come from were all watching on very concerned, like, well, where's our friend going? And then I looked to the left to see what the sheep was up to, and it was trying to go through this gate, but it was obviously not where it had come from because the gate wasn't, like, there wasn't a big enough opening, and it was just sticking its head through the gate, trying to go through, and I had to just drive around because I was going to be late for work. I just really hope that the sheep got back to his friends and he was okay. And I've also just been to Tesco Express, and there were literal carol singers outside Tesco Express with a little lamp they were holding to light themselves up with. So <laughs> that's Christmas village life for you I guess. Today my hair looks like crap because I'm about to dye it. It's very long overdue, it's so bad, it's so faded, the roots are terrible, I just keep putting it off but tomorrow is the work, Christmas party so I thought <sighs> fine I'll do it and it's just the worst because when you have to do the roots and the colour it just takes so long. I've got my hair dye, I've got scissors but I always forget to open the hair dye in here because you always have to cut that open, I've got my gloves, I have moved my mirror through to the lamp so I can watch TV while I do this. I'm not going to show you that because I think I've missed some stuff at the back, but no one will see that, right? It's fine. This looks weird. <laughs> it's done! It's kind of patchy. It's always patchy on like the first dye when I do a new colour, but that'll sort itself out the next time I do it. I like it though. It's a lot darker than the pink was, but I think I kind of like darker a bit more. Look at this top that I bought for the work Christmas party. I figured it's not too much because we're going to archery. Not too much, but like just a little bit. And also, this is what my hair looks like properly the next day. 